Here, here's the litter gourd. And snip, here's the litter gourd. Now I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Yay. Fun day, family! Hey guys, so right now we are gonna be doing a little bit of a garden harvesting. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for Opu to come. Opu, come! He's like right here. Opu is inside. Hey. Hi! He's right here. Hey. Putting on his shoes. Hey. Come on, stick on. You can do it. A problem. Okay. Let's head out. Boom, bum, bottom, bottom. Okay. So what should we harvest first? Okay, so first things first, let's go and take a look at our Chinese bitter gourd, okay? Where is it? Well, we have to walk all right, along here. Right, the right by the stairs. Skip those vines. Oh wow, there's a wasp. Oh. There's a big wasp right there, did you see that? Yeah. Is the wasp still there, there Opal? I don't, where is it? I don't even see it. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Us chasing us like crazy. It wouldn't leave us alone. It's like he's trying to stop us from harvesting our bitter gourd. Try be be careful with like don't let. Yeah, let's head back out slowly. Be careful, boy. We don't want to see the wasp. It's okay. We can go now. Stay a little farther away from the beans. Because the beans tend to have a lot of them. I don't know why, but the wasps like the beans. And there is our wonderful Chinese bitter gourd. Okay, Opal's gonna do a video for us today. Yeah, good job. So just don't shake the camera too much. Wasp, wasp! It's okay, it's not at us. It's looking for flowers. Oh no, I, uh, let me cut it. Yeah. Come on, let's what? do it. Show the, here, here's the bitter gourd. And snip. Here's the bitter gourd. Now I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Yay. <laughs> okay, I could do, handle the camera now, Opu. <laughs> so yeah, Opu was a cameraman for a second. And so yeah, that's our Chinese bitter gourd. Really you nice cut and the big. Grass? Why would you want to cut the grass with scissors? <laughs> He's mowing the lawn. But yeah, this is a huge Chinese bitter gourd though. I think this might be our biggest one yet. Pretty impressive, huh? Okay, let's put it on our table. That's cute. We're also gonna harvest some peppers. You can see they're already kind of reddish. And we're just gonna harvest them as they are. There's another one here. And let's get the sunlight there. So let's chop this one off first. You know, my family is now loving the macarons that we bought from Costco the other day. I, this like in a, I think we showed that in our last video. Let's keep there. I'm but, eating one already. Yeah, Opal's eating one right now. He's eating a chocolate macaron. You know what, Opal, show them. Wait, let me harvest this. Okay, now, look, he's eating a chocolate macaron right now. I don't know, it's just we never really bought them that often, but now I think that we should buy them every single time we go to Costco. Okay, so. I think we have beans to harvest now. We have these beans, these long beans, and you can see over here, we have a bunch of beans just growing. Okay. Oh, there's an ant. That's the thing, uh, the ants really like being around here. Okay, that's one, another one. And then, there, another one, and Yeah, so now we like macarons, and I want to find out if I can bake macarons at home myself because I think that would be better. And then, um, guess what? I was just like sitting on the ground and I found these pair of wings attached to each other. They obviously came from some random dead bug, but that bug, the rest of it is gone, leaving behind only these wings that are connected together by this thin little piece of the bug. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's kind of like flapping almost. Isn't that cool? Wings. I wonder if the bug lived a happy life. 
I hope they did. <laughs> okay. When I was stepping over to the beans over there, it turns out I almost stepped on a random little bell pepper over there. So let's harvest that one too. So let's just, oh, there you are. But you stepped on it. I didn't step on it. I almost did, I said. But I didn't actually step on it. There it is. Oh wait, it's mostly green. Oh no, a spider. Uh, oh, that's a big spider web. Oh my god. Oh look, another. Yeah, what should I do? Should I kind of? Don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. I remember once in India, my dad he knocked over uh, like a, a spider. Okay, a tarantula spider. Okay, on the wall. Okay, in my grandma's house. And it looked. There, it was sitting on top of this silk sack like that. And my dad knocked it into a bag, and then it exploded into a, the like a bunch of baby spiders. Like there were a million in that bag, all hanging from little threads. And the mama spiders just sitting in the middle of the chaos. And I remember we just threw the bag out the window and let them live their lives. So. Oh yeah, here the purple beans are growing really nicely. You can see that they're kind of just growing all over the place. Well, I think these are also grown because they're so pretty. Like the flowers, just look how pretty they are. There's a little spider dancing over there. Did I knock over a flower? I hope not. I like doing this twisty way because I think it's easier than cutting with scissors. Ooh, here it's gonna be a little tricky to do the twisty way. We just har harvest all of these, basically. <laughs> oh, it worked! I didn't think it was gonna work. I thought it was gonna break the whole branch. Okay, let's take these. I got a bunch of these beans. See how many. Just too many. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can hardly hold them up. And that's not even all of them. Oh my gosh, they're like co completely covering all the other vegetables. Okay, so now we're cutting the longest eggplant we've ever harvested in the history of our garden. Take a look at the bean sock. I don't know why I called it that, but it is so big. Look at that, it's like a, more than a foot long and it's one of the biggest eggplants you could ever find. If I'm being honest, I might be a little biased, but I like the round ones better. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a cool one, but I like the round eggplants better because they're really nice for frying. Okay, let's harvest this guy. Dum -da 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 Wait. Dun there. So ceremonial. This is a good eggplant. It doesn't have any spikes, is it? Okay, I can hold it. Yay, we got an eggplant. This is like a longer than my like. This is like from the top of my middle finger to my elbow. You see that? It's like nearly as long as that. Yeah, we also have another eggplant over here, right? Oh yeah, this one. It's not as big, but I guess. Oh no, wait, no, it's way bigger than I thought. But yeah, let's harvest it. It's a good shiny one. I like them when they're shiny. I don't know why, but I think that just makes them better. Oh, come on, cut, cut. There, it did cut. We also have a round one somewhere over here. Look at that. A nice big black beauty. I like these ones the best. It's not cutting. Come on. Okay, you know what I'll just do? Oh my gosh, I feel like the scissors are gonna break. There, my dad uh, did the cutting bit, but hey, that's our eggplant. One of my favorite types ever. Oh, it's so shiny, I can see my reflection in it. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, so right now, I'm just taking a look at our, our garden. It's still blooming with so many flowers, despite it being September. And not in this late September too. You just look around and you can see, you can see our garden is still filled with so many different flowers. As you, like just look at the hibiscuses, they're doing really nicely. In fact, they're so big, just see that, see? It's like the size of my whole hand stretched out. 
And these aren't even the biggest flowers like that we have. As in, they can bloom bigger than this. Then we have our little, uh, what are these called again? Marigolds. Yeah, we have our marigolds again. I don't know why, but I thought of zinni zinnias. But yeah, we have marigolds, marigolds, yes, marigolds of different like colors. We have this more orange variety, and then we have a more yellow-like variety. We even have some purple flowers still blooming over there, and roses over there. Those big ones, those big yellow and purple flowers, and then over here, this other yellow one, they are dahlias, okay. So yeah, those, uh, those big purple yellow flowers are called dahlias, and then these are blanket flowers, these guys right here. And we have a lot. And then if you look somewhere in this dense jungle, oh yeah, we have this type of flower, which is I think an Indian species right here. Oh yeah, here's our hibiscus plant. We call her Sheila, that's her name. And she's pretty cool, look at her. She's been blooming pretty nicely for a while. Though I am kind of worried about these holes in her leaves. I don't like the look of that. Sometimes aphids like to attack her, so we have to take extra special care of her. And then we have a jasmine plant over here. Though it's acting, it's a little funny because it needs fertilizer, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put on some fertilizer in this pot. I think we've already done it recently, so she should be getting better. I'm calling them all she's and he's and stuff. And then I, I, I think I already showed you our curry plants, which are growing really nicely. And our papaya trees. Oh, they're so cool, right? But they're not giving us any papaya this year, which is kind of sad because it's already too cold and there's not enough time for them. Those used to be our carnations. See, so still having a one random bud here, but I don't know if that's gonna bloom because it's kind of late, but these give so many flowers during the spring. That's why they're used in like bouquets. They're just so pretty. And then we have random chili plants growing here. And just, yeah, that's our garden. You can see little bees fluttering around everywhere. And it's so pretty. Oh, and don't forget that basket flower right there. Don't forget this basket flower. It's oh, absolutely beautiful. We got it like months ago and it's still just blooming like crazy. It's beautiful. And if you hear that sound, that's the sound of my dad mowing the lawn because our grass is kind of getting a little grown. So yeah, we're gonna the best thing invented since since the internet that is the lawnmower okay yeah the grass is in here but i don't have to open it okay i'm gonna head inside because there's a bunch of mosquitoes here and my dad said that he got like five mosquito bites in just like a couple hours so and i'm just really trying to i don't know not get bitten for a while there's like clouds of bugs yeah the thing is if i get bitten me and Opal are both really sensitive, so we get like, it kind of just turns into the size of a small plum, and I don't enjoy it. I don't. Oh yeah, and these are, this is our culture plant. So basically it's a, uh, uh, I like to, I, I, I remember I used to call it slimy potatoes because that's kind of what they are. Okay, so we managed to open it, and you can see the grass in here. Oh, look at that. That's the grass that we cut. That's a lot of material. I bet that's what the farmers used to like feed yeah, their cows and stuff. Are... So yeah, that's how my dad helps kind of clean out our lawn. I'm eating a donut. <laughs> These are another Costco snack. I don't know, I have a big sweet tooth, so I might be eating like three donuts in a day. Ha <laughs> ha! No, no, not really, you but. A donut? Here, take a bite. You look here at our old chili plant. I think you remember last time where we were talking about our chilies and stuff, but now they're starting to turn purple. Like this one's just starting to, and this one's really purple. Just look. Like that one's super purple. It looks like a different species. So does this one. Look at this one. The thing is one side is purple and the other side is green. See that? 
One side is purple, but other side is green. I'm pointing, this is the one I'm talking about, the one with the thumb on it. Yeah. Now we do have a lot of chilies on this thing. I don't know if we'll even eat them all. Maybe you can store them to eat during the winter or something. Like nice, nice and dry. Hmm, I wonder if we could survive on all of our garden food just through the winter. Like imagine, we just don't even need to go to the store anymore. We just like, you know, freeze all our garden food and eat it over the winter like those animals that hibernate. They just store their food. Hey guys, so right now me and Opal are heading to bed. It's bedtime and tomorrow's Monday, so that means we need to head back to school. So that's the end of today's vlog episode for today. So please like, subscribe, and share our videos if you want to see us again. Bye! Bye! Yeah, let's go, Opal. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe.